Morning YouTube and the internet. Right now, I'm just cleaning up these valves for the very last time before they go into the head. So, seated all the valves. Uh, uh, sorry, lapped all the valve seats. That's all done. I've given the, a bit of a clean out and got rid of all of the, um, the valve grinding paste. So that's not going to get pulled into anything important. And now, just uh, making sure that all these valves are nice and clean. There's no untoward bits of debris or anything on these. And they go in. And the next thing to do is to uh, assemble the valve train. So, we're going to put the shims in. The valves, the springs, the collets, uh, which is the reverse of taking them out, which I did before. I showed you that, but I'll show you putting them in. I'm just going to have to find my valve spring compressor. But yeah, so this, va this head should be together today and ready to go in. Uh, ready to go on the engine by this evening. Which is very, very good news indeed because I am behind my timeline. So if I can knock that over and then get all the ancillary items, accessories, and that uh, attached to the block uh, tomorrow with the head, I'll be in good stead to uh, have it in the car very soon. Uh, I do have to pick up my new clutch. I decided not to reuse the old one. Went for an upgrade from NPC. Uh, yeah, so it's rated to well and truly over what uh, I'm going to be doing. So that makes sure that um, I'm good to go. I'm never. Gonna, I'm not going to have to worry about that again. But for now, a couple of last ones to clean, and then we can start assembly. So, just grabbing number one out of my cardboard valve holder, dab the end of it some more, and then she goes. One. Very technical, I know. You reckon I'm going to make you watch me do that 24 times? I'll tell you what, I'll do an intake one. Just to mix it up. Probably a good time to stop because that is one full cylinder worth of valves. So they're in and they stay in. They're not coming back out. Job done. All six to do. So the first thing to go back in are these uh, shims. Go on the bottom. And before drop them in, we're going to put a little bit of oil in here, so I'm just going to pop that in there, squirt a dollop of oil into each, each one, make sure that this is all oil lubricant, everything that goes in this head is to have oil on it, just a quick squirt at the top and it runs all the way around, which I didn't do on the first couple, okay, now we're going to put these down in there, uh, with my long nose pliers. So what I've got here is I've got it on the inside of the washer, spacer, shim. These have all been cleaned. And then I'm just going to lower it in, squeeze, and then it goes pretty much. And then I'll just poke it in with something like the back of this brush. Just get it to go on its home. There we go. It's set, settled down and seated. So, all of them to do. These are all the exhaust ones. These are the intake ones here on the bench. Uh, on the exhaust side. So, yeah. So, just doing that to hold it and keep it straight in there, drop it off, 
see it doesn't sort of sit properly and then just give it a bit of a fiddle pop and she goes I'm going to say rinse and repeat again because that's what I do uh, once these go in springs and the retainers then the cams oh no then the buckets then the cams Let's keep tinkering away here this afternoon. And I should, uh, should have this head ready to go onto the engine very, very soon. So now I've got all of the um, valve seat gems, whatever you want to call them, valve, uh, valve spring seats. It's time for the springs. These are an aftermarket spring. They just pop in. Uh, these are to help to fight against valve float. I've had a very close inspection. There is no top or bottom. And here's all the exhaust springs. I think they might actually be the same exhaust to intake, but rather be safe than sorry. These are the ones that came out of the exhaust side. So they're going back in. The exhaust side. It's all been given a bit of a clean up and then a, a light coat of oil for storage. So when one stays up, it doesn't go down the hole. It's very obvious. Yep. But that one's clearly not down there. Is it now? Same height as it's made. Okay, so now we've got some retainers to put on. Intake. Same all been cleaned and then stored in oil. So these just pop on the top. See, this is quite a fast process now. All goes together relatively quickly. And exhaust side. So these are different, the retainers. One side to the other. I'm going to assume it's because of the temperatures. But they need a different type. Different material, potentially. Now I can't remember if I had to pull the can caps off to get my... Um, spring compressor in there or not I guess I'm going to find out very shortly but that's the next step get the spring compressor put it on and we need to compress the spring so we can put the collets on uh, again I don't think these are any different but one's intake one's exhaust because that's where they came from like everything else that's taken off this car it was labeled and bagged to make this process putting it back together as simple as humanly possible because I'm a very simple man. Alright, um, putting the collets back in for the valve retainers, it's a pain in the ass. It's taken us ages, we've done three, but we've got a sort of a system that works now uh, and we'll see if we can continue that. Um, we did that last one without a rag under there. Is how it should work because the valve should be free of the uh, rest of the assembly. Right, come over here. So I got my cameraman working on the tools now. This is a seven-handed job. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where is it? Just broke it. No, I was just pulling the wrong bit. Bit of Leverage extension, we come on this side now. The plan is here while I pull this down, uh, he put 
puts the collets in place approximately and then he helps to hold the head still while I jiggle it basically to get it to stay where I want it. You ready? That doesn't look very ready. Ready? That's it. Why didn't you have the other one out of the bag already? No, you need to hold it just at the top. You can't hold it over the rib. Yep. We little jiggle. One of them's pretty much perfect. The other one just needs to come around a bit. Oh, now the valve's depressing. That's depressing. Uh, they probably couldn't even hear that. There we go. That's that one in place. And boom. Right there, we have our collets in. So we've done that one, that one, we can't get access to that with the bracket there, so I'll do that after I'm at the bracket. That one and that one, it's taken us, probably took us an hour to do the first one. I'm looking at you. Yeah, probably. And probably an hour to do the first one, and then, you know, just a couple of minutes each after that, but there was lots of rejigging, and I got a little bit of wood under here to help stop the head tipping, a bit of wood up here. I've got ra a rag under the pot to stop the valves falling through when we depress it, so it's sort of it's balancing on that. So I've had to geo rig some stuff around that. Um, and so most of that first hour was that sort of stuff, trying, going, no, it's not going to work, and then resetting with a new method. Um, yeah, so that was probably the quickest one. Definitely the quickest one that we've done. So three out of. 24, 19, uh, 21 to go. It's a good thing I don't work with numbers or anything, eh? So you're going to need to be on that side. Get them both out. Easy tweezers. Both. I literally was thinking, I will put the lid on that before someone knocks it over. And I knocked it over in the process. Uh, I think we might take a five minute break because that first one really took it out of me and, and, and out of my temper. So take a five minute breather and then come back to it. Put some music on, have a cold drink, chill out for a bit. Then we'll get back into it. How's that sound? It's crooked. Good morning YouTube and the internet. I got frustrated with putting the valve train together last night. I had a mate come over this morning, so I had two sets of hands holding the, the head still while I did the compressor and put the collets in. But that's done. It took a few hours. It took like an hour and a half this morning to do three quarters of them. It took like four hours last night to do one quarter of them. I suppose that's how much is left over. Ballpark numbers. But yeah, she's... Uh, She's here. Ready for some buckets. Which I've had it sitting over here after rebuilding them, soaking in goodness. By goodness I mean oil. There we go. Intake one through twelve. Exhaust one through twelve. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's the easiest way to get them over there without covering my floor in oil think if I tidy up here I should have space for them here. I'll do that. So while I was at work the other day, tangent, I uh, did this, so I bound a copy of this, uh, this engine manual. So I've got the whole thing. This has got all the assembly torques for everything as well in it. The boss doesn't know about it because he used up all his paper and his printers. But in here, 
is all the head torques on this image here. So this is, uh, I'm just referring to it really quickly, making sure I haven't missed something. self-explanatory here I think Four, they're all slip, slipping in quite nicely of course as soon as I said that one gives me problems we just got to get them lined up uh, pretty much dead square for them to go in other than that there's no trick to it was clean. That's upside down. Oop. So the idea of soaking these in oil is the oil is bled out of the valve itself um, to allow them to compress when you put the cam on. And then because the body of it is full of oil because it's been soaking in oil. Uh, as soon as it compresses, it draws oil into the body of the lifter valve thing, which prevents them from compressing again. So that's the way I've gone and done it. I actually like pre-primed them all and then realised I couldn't compress them, uh, which meant that'd be bad. Bend the valve. Bad times. So I undid them all, or well, undid one, because I kept playing with one until I got it right. And then I repeated the process on all the others of testing the valve by filling it with oil and then disassembling them again and pulling the oil out. And then reassembling them without the thing full of oil. And then did this. To make sure as soon as it goes to start, it will be full of oil. Ah, oh, my gloves caught under it. No. Um. Okay, didn't tear anything off. They all compress, which means I'll be able to get my cams on. Yep, now I need to clean all the oil that I just put on there off. Because I need to put uh, assembly loop on the cam journals. And oil frame. This thing's still full of oil though. So with the way I've done the lift is the it's gonna tick for a couple of seconds on first start up as the um, lifters build oil pressure inside them. But it should only take a few seconds. And before starting it, uh, I'll be building oil pressure anyway. So, we should be golden. I can't believe this head might actually be on the block today. It's been such a long time coming. <laughs> 